to the vein. I hope that you can see this, having some technical difficulties. So I'm going to quickly talk you through a few bits of vocab. This the first session, first video now. I'm going to do three videos. First one we'll do some beginners vocabulario. Second one we'll do some elementary vocabulario, and the third one I'll do some um, intermediate vocabulario. Okay, so. Um, let's see, have a look. For the beginners, I thought we could look at some clothes because these are always useful things that we might need to talk about. Yeah? So um, some words here that you might find useful. I'd love to share my screen, but I haven't figured out this new Facebook Live format. Maybe next week I'll, I've worked it out. So we've got some nice useful words here. So I'll just go through them. If you're um, at home, and sitting comfortably by yourself you could repeat the words after me practice saying them okay so we've got words like kazaku which is a jacket kazaku hard word to remember that it doesn't have any hooks really then we've got another word vestido which is dress vestido one of my students said this word might come from the latin vestment like a priest wears if that helps you to remember. The next word, I like this one. Fatu. Fatu. It's a suit. And I always think the fat man wears the suit. If you've ever seen Preso Certo, you'll know what I mean. Although he's getting thinner. And uh, next one is U Shapayu. U Shapayu. Okay. And that's a hat. If you know any French, it's very similar to the French word there, isn't it? A chapeau is a hat, like a sun hat, you know, quite a, you know, a, a big hat, not a generic word for all kinds of hats. I've often been wearing a cap, so that is un bonnet, the, the bonnet, like a bonnet, the old-fashioned bonnet. Um, now, looking at what women might wear, we've got Saya, saya, which is a skirt, and blouse, blouse, a blouse. Okay, and um, this is very similar to the English word, isn't it? Blouse. Camisa, camisa is a shirt, um, a shirt that men might wear, not a camisole like underwear. Camisola is a jumper or sweater, um, a warmer top um, that we would wear. These two words can, are easy to mix up, camisa, camisola. They're very similar, aren't they? I always think camisola is a bit longer as a word, so as an item of clothing, it's warmer. It's got more to it. Next one is gravata. Gravata is a tie. That's quite similar to the word cravat, isn't it? Gravata. And now, calções, calções, ush calções, the shorts. That that's a tricky one to learn. Calções. Okay. If you don't wear shorts or um, need to talk about them, don't worry too much about that word. Um, now, some little accessories we might want to wear. Brincos our earrings. Brincos, brincos. Mayers, mayers are socks. If you know the word mayo, that means half. So mayers, there's two halves of them. That helps you remember. Bottas are boots, quite similar to the English. Bottas, boots, and calças are trousers. Can you see the connection between calças, calções for short? They've got the same beginning, and they're not a million miles away one from the other. Okay, can you see what I was doing as I was taking you through the words? I was trying to give you some memory hooks, ways that you can remember the words. Because um, often, if it doesn't have anything very similar to English, we need to give ourselves a connection to help us to remember. And of course, all of these are available on the Quizlet sets that I've made available for free. Um, I'll, after I've um, posted these videos, I'll put the links to the sets so you get access for them. Okay, so that's the beginners. Some words for you to do with hopper. Clothes. Enjoy. Okay. Ciao, ciao. I'll be back in a minute with some elementary vocabulary.